Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and Samsung has just recently launched some brand new features on your Samsung Galaxy device. Now more than likely it's for the Galaxy S lineup, even the flips and the folds, and also some Galaxy tabs. Now if you own a device outside of that, let me know in the comment section below if you have these new features as well. So where they're able to update this and bring in these brand new features is inside of the Galaxy Enhance X application. So this is a free application that's on the Galaxy Store. And now what you're able to do with the Galaxy Enhance X is that you can import videos with a duration up to 30 minutes. Now I believe before this, the maximum was two minutes. Also, you're able to have an improved experience when you are editing a longer video or pretty much any video, because now if you're to press and hold on that video timeline, it'll also zoom in so it's easier for you to trim or edit the photo. Now, the one that I just showed you a second ago is Motion Clipper. With Motion Clipper, you can seamlessly create GIFs from your motion photos, which honestly, lately, for probably the last month or two, anytime that I took a photo, it's always with Motion Photo turned on because what it does is it records two seconds before the shutter button was actually touched and maybe you miss something by a split second. You can actually go back and take that as the keyframe and that is now your new photo. You also have the camera shift revamp. So now you have multiple subjects in an image that can now be selected to apply the effect. Uh, it also can be applied to you know all people and pet images. Also tab models can now utilize Enhance X and landscape models. And then also basic dex mode is supported for enhanced X. Now this update happened just a couple days ago on November 22nd. So how you're able to use this is when you first head inside of your Galaxy Enhance X application, what'll happen is your screen will actually look like this. This is where you select a picture and a video to do the editing. So once you open it up, you select a picture or a video, you go inside your camera and you select an image. So the cool thing that you can also do is even though you only took it as a motion photo, you have all the options of single take sitting here. So if you've never played with Galaxy Enhance X before, it's a pretty nice feature. So this is pretty cool because now it adds in a cropped shot. Here is a filtered shot. You also get the boomerang clip. So it's a little bit of a video that kind of goes back and forth. And you also have a highlight video, which basically the photo zooming in and then the, the, the video right after that. So going back over into what I want to show, which is the motion clipper. Again, you're taking this with motion photos. So you have a little bit of a video that you can actually play with and you're able to create your own GIF from it and you can share it anywhere you want to, anywhere that you can send GIFs. So first off, you just wanted to maybe select one of them. Let's say that we select this one over here. Then it's going to be able to only clip out that little mug over into a GIF. So if I go to preview clip, this is what it looks like. So I guess I can see through the cup right there where a car actually came through. Also, if I wanted to select all, then now it's going to actually have both of those images in the shot and everything else should be out of it. And then you'd be able to save it and send it and do whatever you want. So here is the clip of what it looks like. So it has both of those two images sitting there. Now you also can change the size and the frames per second. If you want it to be a little bit smaller, you can do that. Other than that, you just keep it as original. It's gonna be better quality. So with this one, we saw what it looked like. Uh, let's say that we only do the Xbox then because I already have this one saved here of the two. So I selected only one image. And with this one, I'm gonna go to save clip and now it's gonna be in the gallery. So all you'd have to do is go inside your gallery and you're gonna scroll down to where it should say Galaxy Enhance X. So anytime that you do any type of edits, it's all gonna show up right here. So this was the original that I saved just moments ago. And then here's the one that we just did right now. And so from here, you just be able to hit on the share button and you can send it anywhere and everywhere. Now let's go through and inside of the camera, I'm gonna show you which setting you have to turn on for this to work. Now inside your camera, you're gonna see this little icon right there. This is motion photo. If you wanna take a, a regular picture, you can have it turned off once you hit the shutter you only get your picture. But when you have motion photo on, it'll actually take that two seconds that happened right before you hit the shutter button. So now you can technically export it as a video that is very short, or you can have that image. And again, as I mentioned before, if something happens right before, you can actually edit this one in terms of this little motion photo. You can edit it to a different, you know, split second before. So maybe you have a better image. 
So I've shown that off in a video in the past and it's actually pretty cool. So now we're gonna go right back inside. We'll go back inside the Galaxy Enhance X application. Uh, for this one, we're gonna head right on back. And again, this time I wanna show you what it would look, look like if you did it with a video. So this one is three minutes and 28 seconds. What you can do is you can just expand this out if you want to go through and try to you know, do any of these settings. Sometimes when you try to do slow-mo or long exposure or single take, the maximum for that is a 30 second video. This over here is actually a little magic button and it's gonna take you to where in the video probably has like the best scenes. So it brought it down to eight seconds and then you're able to hit on play. Now, if I was to bring this out over here, now what happens if I press and hold on this little uh, trim movie line right here, now you can actually see that it zoomed in. So if I let go, you're gonna see it zoomed out. So right now it's kind of hard to see what is happening in here. So if I zoom in just like this, I can go maybe like right over there. And if this is where I kind of want to, you know, have a little bit of a video kind of going up, going about, I can bring it like right around, let's bring it down more, get it down even smaller. And now I have these options for like slow-mo. So if I do slow-mo now in Galaxy Enhance X, I can actually take a slow-mo from this video here. And then I can also change the speed if I want it to be half the speed or one fourth the speed. So right now it is playing back at one half of the speed. So instead of it being, you know, 25 seconds, it's actually 50 seconds. You know, it is kind of cool that you can do things like this. The only thing though, is that now that they're able to give you the ability to add in a longer video, it just kind of stinks that some of these things that you're able to do here is now gone once it's past 30 seconds. So I kind of hope maybe in the future, Samsung will be able to add in some more editing features of what you're able to do with this longer formed video that we can technically now add in. Now, what's actually kind of nice is that just from the regular gallery, let's say that we move up right to that photo where we just were. And if I wanted to watch this video, you know, maybe let's go right over here. You know, one of the things that I can do from this little moment that's actually much easier and faster than just going into the Galaxy Enhance X application is if I press and hold on the screen, it's previewing this to me in super slow-mo because this machine is super fast. So now that it's in super slow-mo, I can actually see exactly what's going on. And then when I let go, I have save slow-mo clip. That's super fast and easy and convenient just doing it from the regular gallery with this. But if you've never seen that before, you're able to do that on the latest Samsung One UI operating system. So basically it's pretty cool. The Galaxy Enhance X app application is super fun to play with when you're doing probably the motion clip. When it comes down to video editing, I think it's kind of missing a few things there because when you just go into any of these little images and then you do your little motion clipper, as long as you are taking all of your pictures in motion photo, which I do highly suggest because there's a lot of things you can do with it after the fact, this is actually pretty fun. So now I can actually just take this little bit of a clip that I did just by taking a photo. And you know, if I'm doing this whole select all, I do this little preview clip. Now I can kind of show what's going on with my printers, even though over here, it didn't really pick it up that well because there's not much light that's happening over there. So it picked these three up really nice. And this right here, I can pretty much just save this as a clip. And then I'd be able to send it, you know, anywhere and everywhere I want to as a GIF. Pretty cool. Again, this update happened November 22nd on the Galaxy Enhance X application. Just go inside of the Samsung Galaxy Store, download that thing, and you have some really cool features that were just added in for your Samsung Galaxy phone. Hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.